the way to build a nation is to build a good citizen the majority of the citizen should be efficient of good character and possess a reasonable high sense of duty hello friends welcome to another video of indian heroes we will talk about bharat ratna m vishwasareya the engineer who built the nation born in a poor family in karnataka earthsoil mysore state on 15 september 1860 mv as he was fondly called went to bangalore for higher education his father shrinivas sastri was a sanskrit scholar and ayurvedic practitioner his mother was a religious lady he lost his father when he was only 15 years old mv completed his early education in chikbalapur and then went to bangalore for higher education he cleared his ba examination in 1881 when mv graduated from central college bangalore principal charles waters presented him with a dictionary mv used it for the next 80 years he got some assistance from the government of mysore and joined the science college in pune to study engineering In 1883 he ranked first in the LCE and FCE examinations which is equivalent to BE examination of today When Sir MV cleared his engineering government of Bombay offered him a job and appointed him assistant engineer at Nasik A very thrifty person he once said in a speech if you buy what you do not need you will need what you cannot buy As an engineer he achieved some marvelous feats. He planned a way of supplying water from the river Sindhu to a town called Sukur. He devised a new irrigation system called the block system. He devised steel doors to stop the wasteful flow of waters in them. This was Araya was passionate about water conservation. He designed many water supply, drainage and irrigation system across the country. Vishwasaraya also designed or advised on water supply systems in Aden now in Yemen Kolhapur Indore Gwalior Bhopal Nagpur Goa Rajkot Bhavnagar Baroda Sangli and across Bihar and Odisha In 1894 service in Sindh he designed a water filtration system on the river bed to supply clean water to Sukur in Sindh now in Pakistan In 1889 new irrigation system designed a system of irrigation for the Bombay presidency that could distribute water to large blocks of land and increase the output of crops it was called the block system of irrigation in 1908 drainage for hyderabad cyclonic rains caused the musi river to flood thousands of people were killed the nizam of hyderabad invited vishwasaraya to design a drainage and water supply system to prevent such losses automatic sluice gates the khadakvasla reservoir pune's water source would overflow every monsoon but the water that it could hold wasn't enough for the summer mv designed a system of automatic gates that increased the capacity of the reservoir which he patented as the automatic sluice gates similar systems were installed in tegra dam near gwalior and krishna raja sagar dam near mysuru in 1909 after he finished his work as a consulting engineer in hyderabad vishwasaraya received a telegram from the diwan of mysore offering him the post of chief engineer but vishwasaraya was no longer interested in routine work so he asked if he could work on developing industries and technical education in the state the government agreed Shri Krishna Raja Vadia IV, the Maharaja of Mysore, asked him to design a dam across the river Kaveri. Previously, M. V. had visited large irrigation projects like the Aswan Dam in Egypt. He had observed how engineers there worked and came up with a design for the Krishna Raja Sagara Dam. Built over many years, it is a spectacular construction, and thousands of people still visit it every day. In 1912 when KRS dam was built it supplied power to the Kolar gold fields it had a tunnel that was nearly 3 km long bored through a hill range 
It led to the cultivation of sugar cane giving rise to large sugar mills in the region and it was the largest dam in India. Sir MV led a very simple life. He was a strict vegetarian and a teetotaler. He was known for his honesty and integrity. In 1912 Maharaja of Mysore appointed Viswasaraya as his diwan. Before accepting the post of diwan of Mysore he invited all his relatives for dinner. He told them very clearly that he would accept the prestigious office on the condition that none of them would approach him for favors. As Devan of Mysore, he worked tirelessly for educational and industrial development of the state. As someone who knew the worth of a good education, MV wanted to set up schools and colleges. During his period as Devan between 1912 and 1918, the number of educational institutions in the state went up from just 4,500 to 11,200. The Maharani's College in Mysuru became the first in the state to include degree courses for women. MV was also responsible for starting technical education colleges, engineering courses and agriculture education. He introduced compulsory education which is now a fundamental right in the Indian constitution. When he resigned as the chairman of the Mysore Iron Works which he founded, a large sum of money was due to him. MV wanted it to be used to start a college where boys could learn a profession. These are the institutions that Sir MV helped to set up. By now, Viswasaraya was recognized for his work as an engineer and a leader in many parts of the country. In 1915, while he was the Diwan of Mysore, the British government made him a Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire. From then on, he was called Sir M. Viswasaraya. The visionary that he was, MV visited factories and big construction projects in many countries not only to provide them with his services but also to see how he could bring development to India. He felt India's poverty could only be reduced if education and employment were available to everyone. When he was the Diwan, many new industries came up. The sandal oil factory, the soap factory, the metals factory, the chrome training factory were some of them. Sir MV voluntarily retired as Diwan of Mysore in 1918. He worked actively even after his retirement. In his 90s, he was called upon by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru to examine several proposals for bridges to be built over the Ganga. He first did an aerial survey of the region. Since Sir MV never did anything without thorough study and preparation, of course, he travelled to the region to make notes. Based on the location selected by him, a road come railway bridge was built near Mokama, Bihar. In 1955, he was honored with the Bharat Ratna for his contribution to engineering, education and nation building. On April 14, 1962, he passed away five months short of his 102 birthday. September 15 is celebrated as National Engineers Day in honor of Sir MV an outstanding engineer and visionary. Thus, there is no doubt that Sir MV made immense contribution to build a modern India. Friends, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe us for more such videos. Thank you.